Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss how diabetes and thyroid affect your eyes. I am Dr. Jagaji Singhvirk, MBBS, FCGP, FAMS, PGDGM. What is diabetic eye disease? Diabetic eye disease is a group of eye problems that can affect people with diabetes. These conditions include diabetic retinopathy, diabetic macular edema, cataracts, and glaucoma. Over time, diabetes can cause damage to your eyes that can lead to poor vision or even blindness. You can take steps to prevent diabetic eye disease or keep it from getting worse by taking care of your diabetes. How does diabetes affect the eyes? Diabetes affects your eyes when your blood glucose is too high. In the short term, you are not likely to have vision loss from high blood glucose. People sometimes have blurry vision for a few days or weeks when they are changing their diabetes care plan or medicines. High glucose can change fluid levels or cause swelling in the tissues of your eyes that help you to focus causing blurred vision. This type of blurry vision is temporary and goes away when your glucose levels gets closer to normal. How does diabetes affect the eyes? If your blood glucose stays high over time, it can damage the tiny blood vessels in the back of your eyes. This damage can begin during pre-diabetes when blood glucose is higher than normal but not high enough for you to be diagnosed with diabetes. Damaged blood vessels may leak fluid and cause swelling. New, weak blood vessels may also begin to grow. These blood vessels can bleed into the middle part of the eye, lead to scarring or cause dangerously high pressure inside your eyes. This damage may be due to the high levels of insulin in your blood in the pre-diabetic condition. What is diabetic retinopathy? The retina is the inner lining at the back of each eye. The retina senses light and turns it into signals that your brain decodes. So you can see the world around you. Damaged blood vessels can harm the retina, causing a disease called diabetic retinopathy. In early diabetic retinopathy, Blood vessels can weaken, bulge, or leak into the retina. That is called non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy. If the disease gets worse, some blood vessels close off, which causes new blood vessels to grow or proliferate on the surface of the retina. This stage is called proliferative diabetic retinopathy. These abnormal new blood vessels can lead to serious vision problems due to their presence on the retina. This picture shows the healthy blood vessels which are very fine in the normal eye and these are the exudates and leaking of the blood vessels into the retina. 
in a retinopathy. What is diabetic macular edema? The part of your retina that you need for reading, driving and seeing faces in called the macula. Diabetes can lead to swelling in the macula which is called diabetic macular edema. Over time, this disease can destroy the sharp vision in this part of the eye, leading to partial vision loss or blindness. Macular edema usually develops in people who already have other signs of diabetic retinopathy. This is a picture of macular edema. This is normal picture of this portion. This is mac macula, a depression where the focus of your objects occur and you get a clear focus and image of that. This is a macular edema and this is uh, the portion which is edematous and it, it can't give you the focus and the clear image. What is glaucoma? Glaucoma is a group of eye diseases that can damage the optic nerve, the bundle of nerves that connects the eye to the brain. Diabetes doubles the chances of having glaucoma, which can lead to vision loss and blindness if not treated early. Symptoms depend on which type of glaucoma you have. This is the picture of glaucoma. This is a normal eye and this is the high, uh, high pressure in the aqueous and vitreous. This is vitreous, high pressure. And that pressure uh, impinges upon the nerve here in the optic. What's cataract? Cataract, the lenses within the eyes are clear structures that help provide sharp vision. They tend to become cloudy as we age. People with diabetes are more likely to develop cloudy lenses called cataracts. People with diabetes can develop cataracts at an earlier age than people without diabetes. Researchers think that high glucose levels cause deposits to build up in the lenses of your eyes. This is the people which, which have this uh, uh, cloudy lens, white lens, it is a cataract, mature cataract in the eye. This is again a normal picture, normal eye. The pupil is black and this is a immature cataract. This cataract will be clouded lens in the eye. This lens is opaque. This lens is clear and this lens is opaque. And this is a cataract. How common is diabetic eye disease? Diabetic retinopathy, about one in three people with diabetes who are older than age 40 already have some signs of diabetic retinopathy. Diabetic retinopathy is the most common cause of vision loss in people with diabetes. Finding and treating diabetic retinopathy early can reduce the risk of blindness by 95%. Glaucoma and cataracts. Your chances of developing glaucoma or cataracts are about twice that of someone without diabetes. Who is more likely to develop eye diseases. Anyone with diabetes can develop diabetic eye diseases. Your risk is greater with high blood glucose that is not treated, high blood pressure that is not treated, high blood cholesterol and smoking may also raise your risk of diabetic eye disease. Some groups are affected more than others. 
like African Americans, American Indians, and Alaska Natives, Hispanics, Latinos, Pacific Islanders, and older adults are at greater risk of losing vision or going blind from diabetes. <clears throat> Chances of eye disease in pregnancy of a diabetic. If you have diabetes and become pregnant, you can develop eye problems very quickly during your pregnancy. If you already have some diabetic retinopathy, it can get worse during pregnancy. Changes that help your body support growing body may put stress on the blood vessels in your eyes. Diabetes that occurs only during pregnancy called gestational diabetes that does not usually cause eye problem. Your chances of developing diabetic eye disease increase the longer you have diabetes. What are the symptoms of diabetic eye disease? Often there are no early symptoms of diabetic eye disease. You may have no pain and no change in your vision as damage begins to grow inside your eyes, particularly with diabetic retinopathy. When symptoms do occur, they may include blurry or wavy vision, frequently changing vision, sometimes from day to day, dark areas or vision loss, poor color vision, spots or dark strings, also called fruiters, flashes of light. When should I see a doctor? Call a doctor right away if you notice sudden changes to your vision, including flashes of light or many more spots, floaters than usual. You also should see a doctor right away if it looks like a curtain is pulled over your eyes. These changes in your sight can be symptoms of a detached retina, which is a medical emergency. How do doctors diagnose eye problems? Having a full dilated eye exam is the best way to check for eye problems from diabetes. Your doctor will also test your vision, measure the pressure in your eyes. Your doctor may suggest other tests too, depending on your health history. Most people with diabetes should see an eye care professional once a year for a complete eye examination. Your own health care team may suggest a different plan based on your type of diabetes and the time since you were first diagnosed. Eye exam guidelines for diabetics. Type 1 yearly eye exam should start within 5 years of diagnosis. Type 2 diabetes yearly eye exam should start right after diagnosis. Pregnancy, women with type 1 and type 2 diabetes need an eye examination before pregnancy or within the first 3 months. Your doctor may want you to repeat the examination later in your pregnancy and until your baby is 1 year old. Women who develop gestational diabetes don't usually need an eye examination because they don't develop diabetic eye disease during pregnancy. Thyroid problems of the eyes. Underactive thyroid, that is hypothyroidism, isn't usually associated with eye disease. In severe cases, however, hypothyroidism may cause swelling around the eyes and a loss of the hairs in the outer part of the eyebrows. Graves of thalmopathy may develop if hypothyroidism develops after treatment for Graves' disease, the most common form of overactive thyroid that is hyperthyroidism. Graves of thalmopathy can cause eye discomfort protruding eyeballs and vision changes.
what is thyroid eye disease eye disorder that causes inflammation that is swelling and damage to the tissues around the eye including muscles fatty tissue and connective tissue thyroid eye disease is an autoimmune condition or one that happens because your protective immune system attacks your body there are two phases of thyroid eye disease the active or inflammatory phase and the stable phase the active phase can last for months up to 3 years while the stable phase follows when the inflammation stops thyroid eye disease is often related to graves disease which is also an autoimmune disease it can affect the thyroid eyes and skin what is graves disease graves disease can cause hyperthyroidism which means that your body releases too many thyroid hormones less commonly graves disease can also cause hypothyroidism which means that your body doesn't release enough hormones both can result in thyroid eye disease but people with low levels of thyroid hormone who do have eye disease swelling and eyebrow hair loss tend to have severe cases of hypothyroidism thyroid eye disease can happen in people with normal levels of thyroid hormones thyroid conditions can also cause secondary glaucoma because of the damage to the optic nerve this is the bulging eyes this is the retracted eye lid this is eye redness this is a case of thyroid eye disease what are the signs and symptoms of thyroid eye disease dry eyes may be there irritated eyes due to a gritty feeling in the eyes watery eyes red eyes bulging eyes also called proptosis a stare double vision also called diplopia difficulty closing your eyes completely this can lead to an ulcer on your cornea vision is lost pain behind your eyes and pain with eye movements symptoms normally affect both eyes but sometimes you may only notice symptoms in one eye symptoms of thyroid eye disease bulging is there inflammation in the eye dryness of eye blood shots on the sclera the pain may be in the eyes and impaired vision may be there lifestyle changes and other home remedies for thyroid eye disease most important lifestyle change you can make is to quit smoking if you smoke it raises your risk of developing thyroid eye disease by 7 to 8 times and makes thyroid eye disease active inflammatory disease phase longer in addition smoking decreases the effectiveness of treatment for thyroid eye disease other lifestyle changes using cool compresses on your eyes wearing sunglasses keeping your head higher than your body when you lie down taking selenium supplements taping your eyelids shut when you sleep wearing glasses with prisms to reduce double vision using a patch on one eye to reduce double vision keep your thyroid hormones level by following your health care providers suggestions and getting regular thyroid tests thank you very much